Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 2 of Let's Play Crystallis, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, after all that traveling, we made it back to these plains over here. And it looks like I won't be able to cross that river. Okay, Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles likes to throw axes at me, and I just leveled up. That's awesome. Needing 300 points to get to the next level, not so awesome. Also, I should have at least went to this town first. I'm Akahana. I used to have an unusual statue, but I dropped it near the river. It was a great find and will be difficult to replace. Have you seen it? What the hell were you doing by the river anyway? Like, there was lots of bebops there. This town is mostly for travelers. Pretty noisy, isn't it? Not really. I mean, nobody's talking unless I interact with them. I've heard that there's a village where only women live. I wonder... They're not interested in you. Don't get too confident. Ah, what would I like to buy? Oh, if I actually save... If I actually went to the village here, I could have got the carapace shield for less than what I spent before. Bronze shield's like 220. Hmm. Yes, I made the glitch work. I'm not proud of it, but if it saves me money, it just makes the ga game just go a hell of a lot easier. And, I mean, it's something that the game forgot to code in completely, so it's not really my fault. Hey, Daniel Bryan. If you go east, you will find the forest. It's a grand maze where plants will shoot poison. The village of Oak lies deep in the forest. The people there don't understand our language. That's because they're Pokemon professors. I can sell stuff here? Well, I don't need this carapace shield anymore. Uh, no. I'm good. So I made a little bit of money back. There are two routes to Mount Saber. One west and one north. Both roads are very dangerous. Well, it's called Mount Saber. It's, it's designed to be dangerous. The wise man Tornell lives with his pupils in the north. You mean, like, his eye pupils? I would imagine everybody lives with their pupils. Except for blind people. I just found out how to get rich quick. Later. Should I follow this guy? I told him that I made a lot of money from stones I found on Mount Saber. After that, he got excited. I don't have the option to actually buy refreshments from you? Okay. I guess that was just false hope. I don't really need to go to the inn, but I would like to see what items are for sale. Pretty much the same ones, except we don't get an alarm flute. Huh. Okay, I'll just, uh, glitch for the antidote. I already got healing herbs. Now let's go look for that statue. He said he left it by the river. How the hell did he even get there, anyway? It would have been so dangerous. I mean, look, there's like two enemies at once. Luckily, they're pretty easy to dodge. I mean, all you have to do is just wait for them to raise their axes. And then you just go over and dodge them. Also, even though they're going in the swamp, you can't. You will gradually take damage as long as you get in there. So, obviously, don't go in there. Unless we have the ability to resist them later on. Oh, 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 I wanted the money so bad. Oh, how convenient. There's a bridge there. Oh, but I found the statue of Onyx. Now let's put a, like, a metal coat on it. And, oh, wait. That's not a Pokemon. It's actually spelled correctly. Oops, that was bad. I'll gradually recover that. Thank you very much. And all I spent was 8 MP. Oh. I could probably just hang around here and just kill these old axe murder warthogs. What am I getting, like, 5 experience for them? Let me check. I'm at 40 now. Yeah, I am getting 5 experience. So that'll be roughly 60 of them and I'll get to the next level, but I'm not gonna show all 60. Sorry I blasted that for no reason. Oh, I actually have to be holding the item. Okay, so I hand him a statue by stabbing him in the back. Hey, this is my statue. 
Thank you for finding it. If you need to go to the forest, use this gas mask to avoid the poison. Oh, a gas mask? And he just walks away. <laughs> My sword's was still going like mid-shot. Mid That's funny. Don't think I'll be needing the rabbit boots, so for now, I'll just stick with uh, this. Go with the gas mask, that way I can actually go in that forest safely. Also, where, is, where the hell is that forest? I believe it's further east? If I can get like 70 gold, then I'll just go and get that armor. And I can probably sell what I used to have. I don't feel bad for using that glitch, it's there for a reason. It allows you to exploit it so I wouldn't have to grind for money so long. Plus, I'll be like a little less leveled uh, when I get the armor. So it'll be more of a challenge, so to speak. Well, not so much that I'll have like maxed out armor at that time. Well, <laughs> they just threw it at the same time. But I meant relative to that area. Also, I should head north. They're saying like a Tornell, whatever his name was. Lives up here. A busy town, Brian Mayor, is located south of Seal Cave. You should visit there. I I, I just came from there. Like what the hell? You you have literally have nothing to say. I don't think the gas mask will protect me from the swamp, will it? No, it will not. Also, there's a new enemy. But for some reason, it's resistant to uh, my sword. So I can't even kill it. Maybe I have to be like at a higher level, or I can just simply get a different sword later on. But until that happens, I can't do anything with it. Some good the gas mask is if I can't really make good use of it. I need I needed to get to the forest, but I can't even get to the forest. Now that poison swamp. And I don't think I'm actually supposed to just like walk against it. You know, just take damage automatically. There's probably gotta be a way to clear the swamp. I don't think it's over this way though. I have a feeling I'm not supposed to go there. Maybe I should just talk to everyone again, and then we'll see if I actually do have to go through the swamp. Plus, I can go buy that armor. Well, illegitimately buy the armor. <laughs> Alright, let's try it out. There we go! I purchased it for the price of Carapace armor, which is like 50% off. But it normally would have been. No, I don't want to drop that, otherwise I would have, like, been dealing with karma. So sell the tan hide. Please come again. I don't think I have to go to Mount Saber. He doesn't want to give me any refreshments. So Tornell is of, actually of no help to me. Maybe I do have to cross that poison swamp. So let me go to the end first. Oh, 20 bucks. He didn't seem very happy. Look at his face. He was so grumpy. You think I want his business? No. Well, I pretty much had to. Still, he should have at least been a little bit more appreciative. Like, he was so grumpy. Like, I gave you 20 bucks. You're making a living. So what are you complaining about? barely see that many people because nobody leaves the village except for that old man who left the village again. For reasons unbeknownst to me. Okay, if only I can just like swim. That would have been so convenient. Okay, well, that's milking it a little bit. Just walk around the edges. So now we're on this side. Anything special over here? More swamp. Don't think I should deal with that yet. 
Okay, here's the forest. Now, if you don't have the gas mask, you're gonna be gradually taking damage here. There's some bugs. Oh, this one gives me eight experience. I did not see what kind of money dropped. Oh god, these uh, plants are evil. Stay away from those spores. And I think I only got one experience from that. No, six experience! Just no money. Some of those bugs actually fly, so I gotta be careful with that. Oh, there's another village. Go in peace! You, know, you don't want me to rest at your inn? Okay. Hmm, that seems to be all that they will tell me. They're actually blocking the way to the shops. Why is that? It seems kind of rude. I have a feeling I might be missing something. Go in peace. Seriously, that's all they say. I don't really think I need to use my uh, warp boots to, like, leave. Luckily, I have it as an option. Seriously, they don't want me here. Well, fine, I don't want to be here anyway. Even though I feel I'm gonna have to eventually. Well, at least I can milk these guys for experience. Not really a fan of the ones that can fly because they just swoop out of nowhere. Yeah, you have to die now. Even though they only give you four gold. Why do bugs even have gold? That's always been an old adage in RPGs. Like, just feral beasts have money. Why is that? Is the game just paying me for killing creatures? Look, what is going on? Hmm, there's nothing over here. Seems kind of pointless to be in this spot. It's a dead end, too. I have a feeling I might be forgetting something. So I'm just gonna go over here. That's also a dead end. Let's go north. Okay, I have a feeling there's actually supposed to be a boss here. Because some of my experience is actually coming back in terms of this. That will have to come here later. Didn't really get much help from anybody, actually. So, maybe I should just leave? Like, I'll leave the forest and then probably just explore the rest of the area. Because maybe I'm missing something. So I don't really have an item except for maybe the gas mask, and that protects me from the, the fumes of the forest. I feel like there's nothing else that I can find. Like, I'll probably just do a little bit more wandering, and if I don't find out what it is, then I'll just try to figure it out on my own. Maybe I do have to go north. These slimes are actually huge! Why are they here? Like, I know they're new enemies. I don't have enough power to make it. That's just the game's way of saying, no, you're not supposed to go here yet. So why even put a swamp there? Like, I'm going to end up exploring anyway. So what's the point? Let's see how much these guys are worth. Uh, looks like it was a uh, six, yeah. Six seems like a good number at this point. Still can't kill these scum. So I have a feeling I might be forgetting something. So I guess I'll just like uh try to figure this one out on my own. Maybe I'll talk to uh, Tornell again. Cause I have a feeling he's supposed to be getting me something. Like oh! I am Tornell. If you are truly a legendary soldier, you should be able to defeat Storm easily. Just force your opponent against the back wall. Oh, okay. I'm Stum, training under Tornell. Noofy, let's have it! Okay. Basically, this is just a button mash. 
Like, this has nothing to do with your level or anything. It's just by how fast you press B. Maybe if you are leveled, you have a greater advantage. But... Yeah, it doesn't look like I can win at this level. So, let me come back to him when I'm level 5. So, give me a good while. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm one, uh... Warthog away from, like, getting to the next level. And thankfully, he's just right over there. Actually, there's a couple. Yes, level up. Oh, but I need 700 experience to get to the next level. Hopefully, I can do this at level 5. Alright, let's do this. Okay, it's pretty close. Looks like we're kind of deadlocking. Did he give up for a moment? I think he's giving up. Like, he's eventually gonna get slower. Uh-oh. Oh, he's gonna beat me. Come on. Stop! Come on! I know I'm just holding down, like, the turbo key. Like, this is pretty much gonna be, like, the scum Let's Play of Crystallis. I'm eventually gonna beat this guy. Excellent! I will now teach you the magic of telepathy. This allows you to communicate with animals. It also allows you to speak with us wise men when you have problems, even if you are not near. Whoa, okay, getting a little too personal there. I will now go to the training place. If you find the tornado bracelet, bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Why is there a comma there? It just sounds like I'll be waiting. Okay. That doesn't even sound right. Okay, two fully charged shots will kill this guy. I think I should go back to the village to buy another pair of warp boots, because I'm worried that the uh, animal village is not going to have any. Now that I can see the stocks, I mean, they won't let me. Wait a minute. Don't think I can actually cheese it so I can actually get these for zero dollars. I'll have to get it for the price of the antidote. Oh, you can only have like a couple at a time? Okay. Wait a minute, I didn't think I had that many warp boots. Did I select that many? I got four. Okay. I want to go to Oak. There, rather than go through the forest, I can just do that. Oh, I also got to change my magic to telepathy. This is the village of Oak. We don't like humans here. Oh, no, I, I don't want to speak to anyone. But I can talk to all these sages if I really wanted. I haven't seen my boy since he went into the forest. Have you seen him? Okay, so this is all about looking for a, a child. And the village elder will not talk to humans. The air in my house smells like humans. Get out! Oh, oh, whoa, oh, okay, okay. Don't take it too personal now. Huh, I can read this guy's mind and he actually says nothing. Maybe that's telling me that he's dumb. Alright, so maybe if we find this guy's, uh, kid, they might actually be nicer to us. Keyword, might. Oh, apparently just talking to that guy and getting the spell will trigger this guy being here. Wah, wah, I'm afraid! I want to go home! Can you please take me home? If only I had that many dates end up like that. But then again, that would be a bit creepy. Also, I noticed this guy's not completely parallel for me. And I'm taking a lot of damage from that attack. Will he go still be with me? Yes. And just walks through the door, okay. I'll be good from now on, I swear! I am forever indebted to you. Please take this as a reward. Oh, an insect flute. And he has nothing to say about the flute itself? Maybe I gotta talk to the Elder. Oh! They'll actually let me go to the end now. 
but it's dangerous because of the poisonous insect it's sex it calls. I think I actually have to use this in order to trigger the next boss. Why would you have to walk in the way of that? Who are you? You are quite strange. Look who's talking, a uh, man of no thoughts. You saved the child? I thank you. I now ask a favor of you. There is a monster in the poison swamp. Many of our dwarves were eaten by this creature. The monster cannot attack the village because of an object we possess, but we cannot use. I leave this object in your care, to save the village. The Sword of Fire? Ooh, I got a new weapon. I think we should equip it right now. Unfortunately, you only have like one charge, but it'll be stronger against those uh, bugs. And I think it'll allow me to kill those mushrooms too. Fruit of Power? Why are the antidotes, like, more expensive now? Let me see... yeah. No, I don't want anything else. I think I'll buy one of those Fruits of Power, because they might come in handy later. I kinda wish that the game actually gave me a description of what they do. Maybe it actually increases my power for a period of time? Who knows? But anyways, I think I should stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're gonna use that insect flute and try to dry out that beast. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.